Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about how to use the MetaTrader 5 market, the MQL5 market to scam people and make a lot of money. So first of all, I want to start um, by showing you one strategy or an expert advisor that I brought. This is um, the Martingale Grid system that I will run in the USD Japanese Yen M5 chart starting from 2020 on. And um, I want to show you the strategy. It's a really simple strategy. It's really easy to understand. So you can see this EA, um, it just, um, yeah, it's, it's just running. It waits for these signals here. There are um, uh, downwards and upwards signals. And if there's one signal, we will just trade the signal as it just happened here. So we have the sell signal and we open a sell trade. So let me fast forward a bit. We can see the sell trade is not going great. Okay, there we hit the TP. Every trade has a TP of 400 points. Now we had another buy signal here and you can see this buy signal was not going well. So we did not hit the TP of 400 points. So um, once we are 400 points in... Um, negative we just open another buy position it's as easy as that and we even increase the lot size of this second position and move the tp closer to the break even price of these two positions which will make it more realistic or which will increase the probability to hit the break even point and make a small profit profit even faster so you can see i can fast forward this and this will of course gener generate a lot of trades and all of these trades are winning trades of course because we do not have a stop loss so how does this look and if we have a look at the graph so you can see uh, wait can i fast forward this so you can see in the graph uh, that the performance is looking quite nice. I don't know why we have a losing trade here, but yeah, if we fast forward this uh, this strategy quite a while, we can see that we will always generate more profits than losses. Even though if we have some unrealized negatives, like here um, displayed by the green line, the overall trend is of course positive and the blue balance line is always increasing. And this is what most people watch for if they look for profitable EAs. So let's have a look at this, um, the outcome of this EA. I traded this program in a demo account for the last, uh, I don't know, multiple years. So you can see here I'm using, uh, this is my server, I'm using this exact Martingale grid strategy in the Euro US dollar and the US dollar Japanese yen chart. And you can see that uh, in the account history, I started this account several years ago in year 2018. And I started with a um, balance of 10,000 euro in this account. And now there is a profit of 21,000 uh, euro. So it's a profit of around 200%. And if we also have a look at um, how this looks in... Um, so I have, a, I have a signal for this on MQL5 also. So you can see here, this is for the Martingale grid system. This is a signal where you can see that there is indeed this profit of 21,000. The calculation here is not really correct. I don't know what's going on here, but you can see this is 99% um, algo trading, should be 100, I think. But yeah, you can see this is looking really, really great in, um, uh, in this uh, account statement here. And these are the strategies that people aim for or program and then sell on the MQL5 market. So you can see uh, if you just go through all of these strategies and I did this in the last few months and I realized this pattern on MQL5, it's really often that some kind of Martingale grid is part of all of these expert advisors. I, th I bet if you have a look at, I know, 10 expert advisors, I can nearly guarantee that at least eight of them use these Martingale grid strategies. And there's also more. If we have a look, for example, if, if, uh, for, um, at one example, this is the Investment Innovator EA. This is a program that I did a single review for on this channel already. So if you're interested, just check the latest videos and you will find this. Uh, it. This is a EA that I monitored um, closely for the for the last weeks. So the general pattern for programs on the MQL5 market is that they just put out a Martingale and or grid strategy. It doesn't really matter. Like the the exact strategy is not really important. It, it doesn't have to look like this with these 
error indicators. It can be a little bit modified, but the Martingale grid component is part of nearly all of these strategies. And it is what makes um, them so profitable on the first view. So generally, all of these uh, sales pages are built like this. You have a program, they write something like this is the best new shit, it's AI technology and it will make you rich. And then you will find some signals. Here, for example, we will find two signals and I bet all of them are super profitable. And they are. Everything's looking great. But if we have a look at this signal here that I... Uh, saved here a while ago, we will see that this signal is removed. But I think it was like two weeks ago when this signal here um, was still active. And this is because um, this was one of the signals that was not profitable because it crashed. So it kind of blew up the account and the salesperson just removed the signal. And this is what you should really watch out for because this is really dangerous and it is some how deceiving I would say and um, all of the signals that are not positive are just exchanged with new signals that are positive or profitable. So you will always see profitable signals here of course. I mean it's it makes sense because um, positive results um, will generate better sales numbers but still you should be really careful. Also, there's another thing that is um, really common for all of these programs. Um, for example, if we have a look at some of these um, EAs here, you will really often see, I don't know if it's um, correct for all of them, I didn't check this before, but very often you will see something like this. The price will increase or the price will rise to um, yeah, some, um, some final price. And let's see if this is also, yeah, here we can see it. The final price will increase. And um, for this one, I know if we will see this here also, three copies left, the final price, it will increase. And for this one, I don't know if we, oh, this is the investment innovator. Yeah, but he had this text um, in the description before and now he increased the price. And they do not really increase the price to limit the copies that they sell or to make the program more exclusive or something. The main reason why they increase the price is because they want to squeeze everything out of this specific EA because, before it fails. Because... At some point, all of these strategies fail. And also my Martingale grid system here, it will fail. It is not a stable and safe strategy. It looks great here, but it will fail eventually. And for this run here, for this forward test that I'm doing since 2018, it is super profitable, 200%. I mean, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of uh, return, but I was super lucky. And this is the case for most of the Martingale grid systems. There is a big influence of luck. So you can be lucky or you can be unlucky. If you're lucky, the system will run stable like it does here for five plus years. But if you are unlucky, and now I can do another test here um, in, the, in the strategy tester. Um, these are the same settings. I'm testing from 2020 to 2023. Now I will deactivate the visual mode so it will run faster and we will see the complete graph. And this will show us why I say that I was lucky with the outcome of the um, strategy of this uh, account. And at some point you will see for most Martingale grid systems that they will have, have long, a longer or bigger drawdown periods, like, periods like here. So this green line is always the equity. And even though the trades are never really closed in a negative spot, it doesn't mean that this is only generating profits. There are unrealized um, uh, losses. Again, they are displayed by the green line, but as long as the positions can still be open and you can wait until they are in profit. It doesn't look too bad. But at some point, and we will see this in this backtest, for example, one of these drawdowns will become so big that the broker will start to close your positions automatically because you cannot 
provide any more margin for more positions or to keep the current positions open. So this is why at some point most of these Martingale grid systems will fail eventually. And this is also why um, people increase the price because the salespersons on uh, MQL5, they know this. They, will, they know that at some point the program will generate losses. And this is nearly guaranteed. And this is why after a while you will start to see this. There are comments that are removed or there are comments that are changed after a while. And wait, let me go to the next pages. Because um, if people use this for a longer time, strategies like this, they will experience events like this. And here you can see the test just finished in year 2020. So this was stable for over two years and then it crashed. And it crashed with a bang. So the whole account nearly blew up. We are left with only 3K in the, uh, in the account, I think, because the margin was not enough. So you have this fatal event and at some point you will experience this fatal event. And until this point, everything looks fine, but then everything will go down in a crash. And this is why people on MQL5, if they sell their product, they try to increase the price steadily to uh, squeeze out as much money as they can from the potential buyers on MQL5 because they know at some point when the first signals on the MQL5 cra uh, page crash or when the first buyer of the program um, will receive a crash in their account, they will get negative reviews and stuff and people will start to realize that this is of course not the holy grail but it's just another Martingale grid strategy. But until this point, the salesperson on MQL5 made so much money with the program already. So for this investment innovator, for example, and, and I mean, this is just one of many programs. I could uh, have chosen a lot of different programs because they are all designed the same way. Um, Sergey made, I don't know, several hundred K, I think, in the past few months. So this is how people deceive the buyer on uh, the buyer side on MQL5 to generate lots of profits with selling their EAs um, and using these Martingale grid techniques. And yeah, you will realize this pattern over and over again. There are Martingale grid strategies and you can easily detect them if you test it using the free demo. And then they say that they want to limit the copies um, that they're selling so they will increase the price. So this pattern is, um, is, is really often, it's always the same. So if you realize something like this, just be really careful with, um, if you want to purchase one of these programs and just do not fall for these um, marketing hacks that salespersons on MQL5 are using. And in most cases, you would just buy a simple Martingale grid strategy. And I know that all of these strategies are a little bit different here and there, but in the end, the most important and um, in, in most cases, the um, performance deciding factor is just this Martingale grid component and the, the actual strategy underneath is not so important. So yeah, just be careful with uh, what you're buying and you should be aware of these sales techniques that are used on MQL5. And um, yeah, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is, so just be careful. Okay, so if you are interested in learning more about this, uh, also check out my webpage um, in the link in the video description. I have courses that teach you how to write expert advisors so you are not dependent on um, expert advisors on MQL5 and you always know exactly what's going on in your expert advisor. I think this is really important. In my course, I also teach about Martingale grid strategies and uh, yeah, you will learn how these strategies are built and what you have to watch out for. So you will learn about the risks and the uh, chances that they provide. And yeah, that's it. Hope this video was helpful for you and I hope that um, I was able to explain a little bit how selling on the MQL5 market works and especially how easy it is to trick people to pay a lot of money for an expert advisor that is in fact in most cases just a really 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 easy program that everyone can code if it if it if he or she just looks into into coding for the meter trader for let's say a month 
So thanks for watching. Have a great time. See you next time. I'm out. Bye bye.